everyone this is coach Mahathir and welcome to this channel now I would just like to wish you a happy new year it's going to be an exciting one for every one of us here so of course if you click on this video you must be wondering this is going to be exciting how can we achieve our resolution now if you're like me I struggle with resolutions a lot of times every year I will set new resolutions and I would never achieve them and it got me wondering is there a point to set resolutions at all then I did some research and I started to realize why people are not able to achieve their resolutions it could be a fitness resolution financial resolution it could be anything but people just don't seem to achieve them well, some do, but majority of us don't. And I fall into this category as well. And what I notice is that the reason why people don't achieve those resolutions is not because they didn't try. It is because they couldn't go through with their resolution. Oftentimes, we are distracted by our feelings for the day, right? Maybe we are too tired, too busy, or maybe we'll say, you know what, we can do it tomorrow. And so we don't go through with it. So I want to share with you three things today on how you can start achieving your resolution. Hey, before we get into that, how about giving this video a like, share, and of course, subscribe to this channel so that more people will be able to achieve their resolution as well. Now with that, let's get straight into it. Now the first thing that you wanna do is to make sure that you set the right goals. And not just the right goals, you need to set a SMART goal. Now, I don't want to get into the details of what a SMART goal is because if you look up YouTube, you will definitely find out more about it. But I just want to go through very quickly. If you're not really familiar about what SMART goals are, essentially, it's an acronym for S-M-A-R-T. The goals that you set or the resolution that you're going to set for yourself needs to be specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. When you set a goal that fits all of these criteria, you now have a clear vision of where you are, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. So the first thing is SMART goals. Set it, have a clear vision in mind, only then you will know what you need to do to get there. Number two, once you have your SMART goals, you need to have a milestone. Now, I can't stress this enough. Most of the time, people tend to set that goal and that feeling is like shooting for the moon, right? It's really far and getting there seems like a real drag or a hassle. So you want to make sure that you set some milestones so that you achieve those milestones and it looks like you're making progress. So let's say, for example, the SMART goal you set for yourself was, I want to lose 12 kilos in that year, right? So now what you have to do is you have to set some milestones so you can celebrate the success along the way. So maybe you break it down even further. In 12 months, I could lose one kilo a month. So by the end of the year, I would have achieved my SMART goal. So you can break down your goals so that it looks more achievable, attainable. And I want you to celebrate those milestones when you get there. If you lost one kilo in that month, go out there and party, but don't party too hard. If not, you've got to lose more weight the next month, but celebrate it. Enjoy that success. Only then will you be motivated to go for the next month and the following month and the month after that. Now, the third and final one is how do you actually commit to it? Because oftentimes, like I mentioned earlier in this video, we tend to be sidetracked based on how we feel during that day, that moment. Maybe we're too tired, too busy. So we tend to lose track. So what I researched and found was this tactic called stack and score. So what is stacking? Stacking simply means you're stacking a new behavior on top of the routine that you've already set for yourself. So typically for me, whenever I wake up in the morning, my routine is I will switch off the alarm, go to the toilet, brush my teeth, come out, get ready to shower and get ready to go for work. That is my standard routine. So to make stacking very effective, you put it in between or you just add on to the behaviors that you've already set for yourself. So now, maybe I want to lose that 12 kilos in a year, just like my resolution that I said earlier, right? So what you can do is whenever you wake up, switch off the alarm, before you go to brush your teeth, do a short workout, two to three minutes of a high intensity workout or low intensity workout or something that can contribute to your ultimate SMART goal of losing weight. 
So when you add this into your behavior, your routine, it now becomes part of you, a system in your body to do it. Now to make it more effective for stacking, have a visual cue. So perhaps you can have a mat on the floor that says work out and then whenever you want to go to the washroom you see that workout you'll be like okay okay i gotta work out before i brush my teeth or you could put the dumbbells next to your place or you know adjust something in your life so that you could always see a visual cue to do that new behavior so it becomes a routine so that's what stacking is it stacks on to what you already have in your routine just adding on that new behavior now the next one is called scoring and I personally love scoring and it has been working for me for a long time. You see, when we do something, we love to track progress and we love to see progress. So what you can do over here is have a logbook, have a calendar, have something that you can track your progress. So whenever you successfully achieve that particular action that contributes to your ultimate SMART goal, put a tick. Put a circle, put something there so you visually see that, hey, I've achieved this, I've done this. Then you start to see that, hey, I've done this for seven days in a row, or I've done this for three months in a row. You are more likely to not break your success streak when you see that you have made progress. So you can try this out, scoring. Now, I have a friend who is an avid smoker in the past. He would smoke a lot of cigarettes every day. So one day, he would just put down a logbook of every day that he would not smoke. And so he started to progress. And when he saw that he was making progress, he realized that the urge to smoke versus the urge to break that streak, breaking that streak was harder. So eventually he got out of smoking just because of using the scoring technique. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it on how you can achieve your resolutions better. Make sure you set smart goals, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time bound. Make sure you set some milestones and celebrate those milestones and follow the stacking and scoring concept. And I'm sure this year is gonna be amazing because you are gonna be achieving your resolution. And that's it. So thanks so much for watching. This is Coach Mahathir. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe so more people will be able to achieve their resolution as well. So with that, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.